Okay, so this is a review of the Diane Zanji 3x3, the most legendary and influential cube in all history. Yeah, so this is actually really nice. It was my longest name ever. It's like, and even now, like, I can still get pretty fast times on it. Like, I got, like, my second best average of five on this. I've gotten, I have several other, I got several other PBs that are still standing today. So yeah, it's really good, at least in my opinion. Some people probably wouldn't use it, but I do. I would have if I didn't have really modern good cubes now. Oh, well, stop talking about that, I should get into the view. So, last time I did a Rubik's brand. I told you I'd be doing this next, so, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. So, standard, uh, wait, <laughs> I was supposed to say 57 millimeters, I remember. This is actually 55 millimeters, like, mm, I don't remember why it was 55 millimeters, but it is. Yeah, and these are probably my favorite sticker shades, um, not sticker shades, but, colors of all time like, I've always been a fan of the of this kind of darker set but yeah so that's the colors and here's the crossy pattern thingy <laughs> so yeah next get into turning it's Quite fast, actually. It's stable, controllable, and fast at the same time. All of which combine make for very good turning and can form algorithms from it flawlessly. Obviously, like any other cube, it can have lockups at times. Usually, it's just small catches, but from time to time, there are very small lockups because that because the corner cutting it's pretty good. Well, I'll get into that later. So, yeah, that's it's it's a really nice turning. Like, mm, I don't know how. I'd like it used to be clicky I could say that for sure before but it's after thousands it th yeah probably thousands of solves of breaking it's gotten a lot different like it's very I'd say it's buttery smooth with a hint of a click and it's kind of Uh, yeah, I guess silky smooth too. Mi silky smooth mixed in with buttery smooth feeling and a s hint of a click. Yeah. So that was the turning. Now to the corner cutting. Oh, let's see. Standard 45 degrees. Easy. Oh, a bit over 45 degrees. Eh, it can. Yeah, it can corner cut just over 45 degrees. Like, when it's freshly lubed or, like, you're lucky, it can corner cut, like, this far. But that's not usually the case. So, normally, it's just over 45 degrees. And reverse corner cutting, it's just under line to line. Yeah. So, it's really good corner cutting. And, yeah, because of that, like, it's pretty rare to get lockups or catches, even. So, that's really good. See, I'm going to turn as roughly as I can. Even though I'm turning really roughly, like, I, I can't get a lockup, like, 
I mean, I could if I really tried, but unless I'm doing that, you're not going to get a lockup pretty much. You, I mean, obviously you will get very little, but rare. Yeah. So, um, yeah, after I finish this solve, I'll tell you my final thoughts and overall rating. Just in that last little pair. Well, peel off. Yeah. Nice. So, taking into account all of these factors, I would give the Dian Sanchi overall rating of, I'd say, hmm. Well, I don't, I don't want to really get into the decimal places, but I don't want to give it a sep, a seven or an eighty, like. I don't, it's definitely not B minus, but I don't think it's A minus either, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say 7.9, yeah, so, uh, overall, Dian Zanchi's B plus, oh, and, if you wa checked out my other review of the Rubik's brand, um, you heard that I rated 6, I changed that, I'm not gonna use my own scale, I'm just gonna base it off school things, it gets too confusing otherwise, so yeah, that I changed that to 6.5, which is a flat C, and this is a B plus. So yeah, that was a review. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.